Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. If you've always wondered how to make it in business, well guess what? There are great mentors out there. Yeah, absolutely. I think if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, one of the most important steps is finding people that can show you the ropes a little bit or at least give you some inspiration. Heather White is joining us from Go CEO and 2020 Communications. How Hello, are you? how are you? Hi, great. Nice Thanks for having me. Paul, tell us about uh, 2020 Communications. Sure, 2020 Communications is a business development consultancy. So we're there to support businesses, small and medium size, on how to systemize their business development. So how do I go from where I am to where I want to be in a way that's systematic, uh, of course, profitability is on the top of everybody's mind, yeah. and we like to do it in a way that's sustainable. And so, by that, I, I mean yes, green, but more in the money sense of green, yeah. sustainable profitability. Well, right? and when you have that point where you're going from maybe a couple of employees and you're going in that expansion, sometimes that's an area that can get really pear shaped for people. It Absolutely. gets really tough to yeah, keep track of. Yeah, I think I think there's always whenever you're creating anything, there's always a level of ignorance, and when there's ignorance, oftentimes there's fear. So the best yeah. thing to do is get the ignorance out of the way that will dissipate <laughs> the fear. It's always good in life. Yeah. Get the ignorance out of the way. In a lot of different aspects. Yeah, and a lot of people think ignorance is in the sense of rude, and it's not. It's just in the sense of not knowing. And when right. you know, then you know, and yeah, there's nothing fine. to fear anymore. Uh, and what about Ghost? Yeah. What is Ghost CEO? Ghost CEO is basically the literal sense of the word. It is the CEO that's there but not there. So it allows primarily women in business to continue to be in business for themselves but not feel by themselves. So they have somebody to call, sober second thought, yeah. confidential point of view. And we really pride ourselves in the practical advice side. So we're all business owners ourselves, so there's no theory. It's really about the practicality. How important is this for uh, for business owners uh, when they get to that stage? Because you know, often that success is isolating. If you're at the top of a company, that means you know you're sort of running the ship. So you don't often have that wingman, that second person to go to and and sort of talk to. Yeah, about, so. I think that's you know that's really the premise of the Ghost CEO. It's to support those business owners so that they don't feel by themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody expects you to know everything. There's so many great professionals out there that are available to support you in growing your business. So it's not something to be afraid of, but it is nice to make sure you've got the support there. So that's that's essentially what we do as ghost CEOs. We're there in the background, the ghost that is available for the phone call around what should I do. And why the focus, you mentioned primarily women. Yeah. Uh, why the focus on women entrepreneurs for you? Well, I think, again, looking to service a niche market that hasn't otherwise really been well serviced. So we took a segment of the market that we knew we could really provide practical support to and focused on that. It doesn't mean we don't accept guys into our coaching yeah. model because of course we do um, but our marketing materials and our strategy is geared towards supporting women in business and, and you said coaching and yeah. I think that sometimes has an odd connotation to it yeah. and that it's something that is just a cheerleader yeah. and wouldn't perhaps give you a negative opinion if need be so yeah. maybe you can explain the difference between what you do and what people may think about career coaching. yeah sure I think again it's important to know that everybody's different with the whole coaching profession there's some lack of accreditation let's say in certain areas so I think it's important to suss out and make sure that you're you're choosing a coach for what you're looking for we're business development coaches so we're there to coach people on how to develop their business we're all business owners ourselves so again there's that practical element for us uh, something we really pride ourselves on not to take away from any of my colleagues who do do great things like cheerleading and of course that's yeah. there's an element of that it's important yeah. but absolutely it can't be hundred percent that no I mean really we're there to be the Robin to the Batman so <laughs> you know we really need to know where we're going and and really support people people in getting there and yeah. so yeah for sure it's always great to have somebody high-five you but it's good to well and and because you guys uh, have some focus towards female specifically once again not to the exclusion of men yeah. but I know being married to a very entrepreneurial woman that there is a slightly different mindset uh, for women especially when they're running a business uh, that I think is unique and and you know not only to be valued but I think it needs to be handled or, or taught in a slightly different way as well. I agree, I agree. And I think, again, you focus on what you're really, really good at. And we're really good at supporting women in business and leave the other stuff to the people that are really good at that. Yeah. What kind of questions do people ask you when they come to you? Uh, you know what? Pretty much everybody's down to the nitty gritty. You know, how do I make more money or make money at all? Yeah. How do I do this it? This is in a business, <laughs> man. Hey, you got to get down. This is business, yeah. <laughs> I think also just making sure, am I doing things the right way? You know, there's yeah. that sort of... They're, they've already jumped in, they're passionate, they're committed, they've taken the risk, all things that you have to do when you're an entrepreneur. And now they just want to make sure, am I doing the things that I'm supposed to be yeah. doing to get where I'm trying to go? So. Well, and and there's a lot of, uh, you know, logistical and or logistics and, and practical things too. You know, when do you hire an accountant? How do you do your accounting systems? How yeah, do you do all absolutely. that kind of stuff? That is mind boggling for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, and I think again, I always like the phrase that practice makes permanent, not perfect. And so I think in the sense of everything you're speaking of, those are found 
foundational, fundamental things that you got to get jumped on right on right off out of the gate. Yeah. You know, it's not oh one day I'll hire an accountant when I'm making money. No, these are foundational things, and you'll get that support if you seek out some advisors from people that well, are and, actually and having or talking to someone who's done it. That's you know, what I'm saying. Exactly, right? They'll know, tell who you. Who knows yeah. exactly which one, or they can recommend different programs. Absolutely, and I think everybody has a great gut check. You select your own advisors and you select your own service providers, you know, based on what you need. But it's good to know what do I need and get those as soon as possible. And yeah. the gut check or gut instinct, <laughs> you know, that is a lot about making business deci decisions, is knowing how to act quickly and believe your own absolutely, instincts. I guess absolutely. sometimes somebody in the background can really help you with absolutely. that. Absolutely, yeah. I think there's a lot of information. There's no shortage of books or webinars, etc., that you can seek out. I think having a strong advisor to help you navigate and then trusting yourself that you do know a lot more than you realize yeah. you do. Yeah. But when you wake up in the middle of the night and go, <laughs> I need to talk to somebody. Yeah, about absolutely. This. And ironically, most of it is common sense. It really is. And so it's getting the fear away so people can actually just get into their own head and figure out exactly what they're trying to do. Nice. Uh, if people want to contact, uh, how do they get involved in this process? In yeah, I mean, a couple of different ways. You can take a look us at us online, www.ghostceo.com, 2020communications.ca. You can follow me on Twitter. Nice. Uh, at Heather2020. So just contact you. And yeah, absolutely. You we'll get you in the right. Yeah, we'll get you in the right direction. Well, thank you so much thank for you so joining much us for today, me. Heather. You just got Thanks, applause. Heather. Yeah, I like it. Hey. Fantastic. Well, Thanks, I know uh, you know. Cheerleading. I'm married to a woman who works hard, and it's uh, it's tough sometimes to do it in isolation. Well, we so appreciate the nice advocacy. Thank Thanks you. so much.